Welcome to this Zentangle Quickie. My name is Heather Hartwig Ladden. I'm a certified Zentangle teacher. And today we're going to take a look at the Tangle Peacock plant from Heidi Denny. Now, I was, as I was looking for, oh, what to do today, what to do today, um, I, I've had this one saved on my Pinterest for some time. And after yesterday's uh, Swiss It, <laughs> well, we did it in our Tangle Time sessions, uh, which, by the way, if you want to tangle with people online from all over, come and join us. Um, th this was yesterday's uh, Tangle Time sessions. And we kept remarking, it's like, depending on how you um, did that one, you know, it could look like peacock feathers. And so, I, like I said, I've had this one saved on uh, my Pinterest for some time and like, oh, let's do that. That will be fun. Okay. Now, this one starts out with an S shape. And you know what? I'm going to do a little, this pen, look, can you see this? Can you see that nib? It's barely there. Let's see if it'll work. <laughs> I'm like, where's my other O ones? I'm going to have to dig a new one out. Let's, um, a lot of times I do this afterwards, but I'm just going to do a little that, a little line. <clears throat> so it's sitting on something and not the end. And I don't, didn't, I wanted it to look like, uh, I didn't want to just do like a box or something. Anyway, it's because I wanted to. That's <laughs> All right, so this starts off with an S shape, and honestly, I had more trouble doing this one backwards for whatever reason, so I'm going to start this one from here, and, um, you know, it's entangled. You can do it however you wish. All right, uh, and actually, if you click the link that's on the Pinterest, uh, the Pinterest link that I'm going to put in the description section... Uh, that'll take you to Heidi's um, webpage, blog, blog post, or something. This it looks like this is a, a part of a bigger something that she was doing, and um, yeah, and, and so you can see some samples of her work. You just kind of have to scroll around on there. I think if you scroll down, you'll find the step outs for this. Sorry, I had to say I had a uh, brain pause. And then we're going to kind of aura that, but leave it bigger at the end. So, you know, coming to, you know, from the tip and leave it bigger, whichever direction works better for you. Oh, here's what I, where my brain was going is I don't know that this is necessarily intended, intended as a tangle, although some of her work, it, I mean, it, it looks like tangle, um, tangles. And, um, but anyway, it doesn't matter because it has the Zentangle components, the elemental strokes, the S shape, um, and then the rest of it, well, uh, yeah, straight line, orb, and um, while this isn't an elemental stroke, it's kind of a tethered orb or a really long uh, C shape. But I, I took these more as flux shapes and I need to, well, no, 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 I better not do that. I'm trying to do it as I, as I was doing it normally. Um, it's, a, here's where she starts. I want to start on this side. I honestly, it doesn't matter which side. Um, I'm going to start here, but she had one kind of coming off right at the end. And it's almost like we're hollow bowing that if, if this is my interpretation, hollow bowing the tip, although that shouldn't, I don't, I don't want to have that little gap there. Okay. Um, underneath and even on these, cause it, it's like, uh, You'll see, you'll see on, on the step out, but it's, uh, yeah, it doesn't come to a point here and you know, it doesn't matter. I just noticed these things. All right. And then, and what I, because I just need to draw the, the, this shape coming from the right and going to the left. I tried doing it this way, but it just looked weird. So, and that could have been a little bit longer, but it's okay. All right. And so they can be, you know, kind of like that. It could be bulbous like this, you know, it doesn't matter. They can be different lengths. <laughs> I'm trying to, oh, let's see, let, okay, this is working better. I'm trying to make um, the direction of them so that way, um, so they're not, you know, all pointing up and then, then you don't have any room at the end. All right, and then kind of one at the tip 
And then on the other side, starting from the base, like so and you want to leave them a bit wide at the you know at the end because we're going to put a big orb in the in there well <laughs> do it however the pen wants you to do it <laughs> and because still in the end it just doesn't matter all right so then i'm going to put a just I love this giant orbs you want to leave a little bit of a you know a gap between the orb and uh, I'm just gonna call it the flux shape but I like that they fill in and then really it's, it's an up to you if you want to you know you could leave them open you could fill them in on um, well, because Heidi did it on hers, I filled mine in as well, but we know you do what you want. All right. And then, now see, I do like um, doing the same stroke and then coming back. There are some cases where I, I don't do that because... Um, especially like my um my favorite tangle flourish i just i i have tried to do that and, and i can and it works well but i'm more prone to mistakes especially if it has like a number of steps um and then it says like no i'm just gonna do a box at a time and that's a that's a grid pattern if, if you didn't know but uh, anyway i mean so you could do you could do an orb and then put the line in at the same time it doesn't matter now one thing with these lines you don't need to make them straight if you add a little bit of a curve to it, it adds some character. It is kind of like, well, really, it's the kind that you know my my love of the line dot dot, and it's because it just it saves it. You know, a tangle. If you you know, depending on the tangle, um, it just it makes it such a neat little touch, and. Gosh, you know, if you really wanted to do a peacock feather, right, you would probably, you could put a, uh, you know, a print top, a spiral in there. Um, you know, I think I'm going to, I'm going to do it differently than him. I'm going to just put, I'm going to start with this. I might fill it all the way in. <laughs> we'll see. I like I like I always like this look when uh, when people do it and sometimes when I do it too <laughs> and the beautiful thing is if I don't like it then I can just yeah I think I like it okay so here's an idea for shading I'm gonna come Actually, I'm going to go on the line, maybe a little bit to the outside. But I'm going on the line. I'm going rather heavy with the graphite. And yes, I broke my rule, which is to not, you know, well, I'm going on the line, so it kind of doesn't matter. Um, usually what I like to do is have the tip of the pencil be on the line. I don't want to go over. And then the same thing, same rule with the tortillon. Uh, but this one, I do want to go over it just a little bit. And so bring in graphite to both sides. I want it, I want it more, I think I want it more dark on this side, which is what I'm getting. Yeah. Look at how that just, all of a sudden it started coming to life. Oh, that is so fun. How cool is that? But you can have, I mean, you don't have to even start with an S shape. It can be whatever you, you, you want to do, you know, to start that. It's just, how fun is that? Love it. Love it, love it. 
I'm thinking, do I want to do anything more? I could do, I'm not just going to leave it. Could do, I would say I could do, uh, well, no, look at, look, well, oh, let's see. Can I do it ever so carefully? Just with what's left on the tortillon. I don't know if I have enough left on the tortillon. But look at how that's adding some bendiness. And you know, if you want to do something like this and you just want to use what's left on your tortillon, here's what you do. Scribble some graphite somewhere. And then use your tortillon. Like, like a palette almost. Oops. <laughs> Especially, you know, if you don't want it real dark, you just, you want to have that where it just looks like you're, yeah, you're using what's left. Because sometimes with, you know, when you add the pencil, it, you know, it could tend to go too dark. Oh, yes. Love that. And then it really makes um, the holes stand out. How cool. How fun. Well, I hope you had as much fun as I did. Um, and if you did, please click on the like button. And if you liked it enough to see more, would love it if you became a subscriber to the channel so you can click on the subscribe button. Uh, I mentioned in the description section links to the step outs. I always do my own version and then link to the creator of the tangle. And then below that, you will find my link tree link. And there is all my social media website Facebook, yeah, well, Facebook is social media, but I do want to highlight, uh, we have a, a very special Tangle Addicts. <laughs> we, have, we have a very special place for us Tangle Addicts. <laughs> it's a group on Facebook. <laughs> uh, so, it, I mean, if you want to come and join us, we have a lot of fun. We share a lot of neat work. It's a super supportive uh, group. It's just, it's just really amazing. Um, so come and join us. There are four questions for you to answer, though, um, before you gain entry, just to let you know. And uh, I mentioned, well, I mentioned the Tangle Time sessions. I, I, I teach twice a week. A lot of them are free. So Thursdays, the Tangle Time sessions that I mentioned, those are free. Um, and then I have ones on Tuesday that have a fee. Uh, there is one Tuesday, the third Tuesday of the month, that's called Tough Tangle Tuesday. That is also free. Um, but you can follow me on my Facebook page uh, or if you're in the group. Um, and I have other, a couple other links there where you can uh, follow me for when I post classes. Um, I, 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 mean, I do them at the same starting times, uh, you know, the same days. Everything is, you know, as consistent as possible. But um, the content on the paid classes changes, and so those get posted regularly. Anyway, places for you to follow. So if you're interested, come and check us out and, and have some fun and good tangling with us. All right, so I think that's it. And with that, thank you so much for watching, and I wish you happy tangling.